This is ANN News Brief. Organizer of a doctor's strike in Zimbabwe is feared to have been kidnapped. The head of doctors' union, Peter Mugombei, was reported to have disappeared on Saturday. Union officials and human rights activists in Zimbabwe say he might have been abducted by the security forces. Dr. Mugombei was the organizer of the doctors' strike, demanding better working conditions in the country where inflation is making it impossible for his colleagues to get to work as their salary has shrunk to $100 a month. The country's health minister, Obadia Moyo, has asked the security services to search for the doctor. He said the state security agencies would leave no stone unturned in their search for the acting president of the Zimbabwe Hospitals Association. Moya condemned what he called illegal act. Opposition leader Nelson Chamiza tweeted that Dr. Magombe's only crime was to ask for a living wage for his profession. The Zimbabwe's Association of Doctors for Human Rights says the abduction was an attack on the health profession and the right of workers to pick it. The Zimbabwean authorities have denied any involvement in the abduction. Algeria says it will head to the poll in December to elect a new president to replace longtime leader Abdulaziz Bouteflika, who resigned in April at 82 after 20 years in power amid street protests. The interim leader of the Kader Ben Sela made the election announcement. Ben Sela has been unable to quell a continuing protests by votes demanding the creation of fresh institutions before any elections. Protesters say any vote under the current system would reinforce the status quo. Abdulaziz Potiflika, who has been ill since suffering a stroke six years ago, had already dropped plans to seek a fifth term. But the demonstrations continued against him and those in his circle. Presidential elections initially planned for July were postponed because of what the ruling officials say, uh, a lack of candidates plunging the country into a constitutional crisis as a 90-day mandate for Ben Sela expired in early July. We'll return after this message. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the fact behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network, ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Libya officials say two commanders of the Eastern Libyan forces trying to take the capital, Tripoli, from the internationally recognized government were killed in a drone strike. The drone strike took place in the town of Tahuna on Friday, southeast of Tripoli. The town has been the main base of the Libyan National Army since it lost to Ghanaian town south of Tripoli. Probably the government and NL both confirmed that two Tahuna-based commanders, Monsen Al-Kani, head of the Kaniyat Armed Group, and Abdul Wahab Al-Magri, head of the Knife Brigade, died in the strike. Brother of Kani was also killed. The strike is a blow to Khalifa Haftar's eastern-based Libyan National Army, LNA, which in April launched a campaign to take Tripoli. So far, that offensive has not reached the city's southern defenses. Last week, Germany announced plans to, uh, for a UN-backed conference on the future of Libya in an attempt to force the many regional actors to stop funding and arming the country's warring sites. That's in a news brief. Uh, thanks for watching. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, nnafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at NN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Adim.